Who better to talk to than junior right-hander Ryan Fisher. Uh, Ryan, first of all, you guys start the season off uh, pretty hot the way you left, going 2-1 and one on your first trip. Talk about what that meant to get off to that kind of start. Yeah, I mean, you can't be upset about a 2-1 and one star. I mean, we played a great game against number five team in the country, Virginia. Uh, I mean, nothing to really complain about. I think we couldn't have started off much better, and we're looking to carry the momentum into next weekend. Yeah, I think everybody, no matter what age they are, get opening day jitters. You get the start on the first Friday of the season, six strong innings, 11 strikeouts. Let's start right there. How did you feel heading into the start, and what did you feel of the results? Yeah, I felt pretty good. Um, you know, I worked. How, I know how hard I worked uh, throughout the offseason, and it showed on opening day, and I just felt great out there, and everything was working, and, uh, you know, I just felt good. One nice thing here for the Highlanders is to have a good bullpen. I think any team to win has to have a good bullpen. You're able to hand the ball to a guy like Jake Rappaport. What does that mean for a starter, for your confidence level, and for the team's chance for success? Yeah, I mean, I've said it a million times. Uh, Rapp is a great pitcher, and to be able to hand the ball off to him Friday nights is, you know, it's incredible. And he always gets the job done like he knows how to, and like we all know him to be. Guys are mostly team players. I've talked to many of you over the years, but from the individual accolade standpoint, what does it mean to win the American East Pitcher of the Week? It feels good. Uh, you know, I'm excited. Uh, hopefully many more to come. Uh, really, I just wanted to do what I could to help the team win. Uh, that's all that really matters. But it's great to get recognition like this, and uh, there's definitely much higher awards in the future in my sights. Well, I hope so. I mean, and yeah. the way you've pitched, uh, it seems like that's going to be a good indication of maybe some more uh, brass for the, for the trophy shelf, if you will. Um, but it does get easier, okay? Now you got to go and face a team all Wake Forest, always a traditional uh, a powerhouse. They call them Wake Forest, the way they've been hitting the ball so well this season. How do you prepare knowing that your next start is going to be against a team that is one of the better hitting teams in the nation? Yeah, I mean, obviously we got to scout the team and scout the hitters, but I think it really just comes down to preparing the way that we know how to as a team. Uh, each week we just get after it, and nothing really changes. Just keep working hard. Make a case for this team being better than the team that achieved so much here at NJT a year ago. Yeah, I mean, it's the same team uh, as last year, essentially. Uh, we got two great uh, younger pitchers coming up and throwing this weekend, and uh, we have a lot of confidence in the younger guys that they'll perform this year. So really, uh, this team is just as good, definitely better than last year. And as a team leader, do you find yourself kind of stepping into a role of, of being that guy that can kind of talk to some of the younger players and get the most out of them? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like uh, I've learned so much from the older guys that I can pass down that knowledge onto the younger guys. And, uh, you know, the older guys have really made it easy for me to uh, learn and pitch the way I do. And what do you want to see from this team in non-conference play that will kind of get you feeling good about where you are come America? I know last year uh, you know, it was grit, grit, base grip ball. Grip you, know, ball. you really had to turn yeah. things around after a slow start. So knowing what you went through last year and knowing what the hurdles are, getting to that point, what's the mentality in, in pre preparation? Just grip ball. You know, I mean, that's, that's really all it comes down to. Just Everyone just competes to work hard and uh, work harder than the next guy. And I think that's really all we can do. And... Uh, you know, everyone's gotten after it this offseason, like, better than I've ever seen before. So it's great. Yeah, it's good to hear you guys want to continue to improve and not rest on those laurels of last year. And we're excited about it. In fact, your next start will be uh, be viewable live, uh, you know, 4 o'clock down at Wake Forest. We'll be watching and rooting for you. And best of luck. Yeah, thank you. All right, again, so I'm Matt Province. We want to thank Ryan Fisher, again, right-handed pitcher on the NJIT staff, a junior who will be making the start Friday against Wake Forest. Thanks for watching this on NJTHighlanders.com.